for joining us again on day five of a mini series that we started on how to create awesome relationships. We're excited that you joined us. So today we'd like to talk about how you can help each other grow in your relationship. My name is Chandy. I am Martin. So the question is, how can you help each other grow in your relationship? So if you read the book of Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17, the Bible talks about iron sharpening iron. As a friend, one of the greatest things you can do is to create an opportunity, an atmosphere for growth, a way that you can help each other grow, support each other. So being a friend is just helping and creating opportunity for growth. It's not a place to you know, see your friend who is stagnant and you are just not showing up to helping that friend to know where or she is struggling. So being a friend simply means helping and giving a helping hand to make sure you leave them better than how you met them. And also number two, you can be accountable to each other. What does it even mean to be accountable? You have to make sure that you are checking up on them. You have to make sure that you keep in touch with what is going on in their lives. Right. You want to make sure that you guide them. If you are single, this is where your friend can help you to stay, you know, um, pute in what you agree on. If right. you say that you're going to, you know, in your relationship, he can, they can help you to be accountable to yourself and to God. Right, right, right. So the next one is real conversation. You know, sometimes we always like, you know, we have friends and we don't feel secure to discuss real stuff. But the truth is this, how can your friend give you godly counsel if you are not open to one another? I mean, this is a place of, you know, you have just have to be vulnerable to your friend having real conversation, things that are bothering you, things that you think that is so heavy. And remember, at this point, you should have known that you made the right choice in your friendship. It's not somebody you are scared of. It's not somebody you are not able to trust. So this is real friendship, having real conversation of things bothering you. So that friend whom you can call up and say, friend, I want to talk about something with you is actually your true friend. So coming to that place of you know having real conversation i think is a big deal in a friendship yeah and also first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 11 said that you should love one another mm -hmm. care for one another pray right. for one another encourage one another help one another cancel one another right so this is the part where you you know cancel each other and Pray for your friend. Right. You know, this is where you help them grow. Right. So one or few things we just want to talk about are things that could affect us not to grow. Instead of growing, we're now seeing you know, us attacking our friend that we're supposed to help to grow. Take, for instance, criticism. You know, your friend did something wrong. I'm not saying that you shouldn't tell your friend that, hey, you didn't get it right. I don't like the way you did this thing. But just having a constructive criticism could go a long way to help the longevity of that relationship or that, you know, making that relationship to continue to last. You know, it, these are areas that we sometimes struggle with and it could make or mar a relationship. So just being conscious and choosing your words and just, con you know, um, a, you know, construct a constructive criticism could go a long way to help instead of just criticizing them or talking about them in your back, at your back. And the second one is comparing them with, you know, comparing yourself with them or comparing their kids with your kids or right. just comparing anything right. about what you have with them. This can, you know, this can totally destroy a relationship right. because you feel like they are not up to a standard right. where you are supposed to be. So right. we need to really avoid anything about comparison. Right. Comparison is a thief that right. takes away joy. You right. know, it is a thief that takes away um, things in our relationship. That's so true. we need to stay away from that. Awesome. So today I hope you've been able to pick one or two things that will help you 
to grow in your relationship with your friend, with your spouse. And let me just say this right quick, that you have a wife does not, you know, just do everything to be beautiful. You have to cultivate a culture to intentionally help your wife, help your children to grow. It's something that we have to just be deliberate in helping each other and creating an atmosphere for growth. As always, there's a prompt for you. So find a friend who you can have a real conversation with. Right. Who is that friend that you can call up and talk to? Right. Do that right now. And then you're going to see a whole lot change in your relationship. Amazing. I hope you stay blessed. So we hope you are blessed and we pray that you just have a beautiful day. And we hope to see you in our next episode. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.